Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to understand how you can stand out in the eyes of quality men, you are in luck, because in today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you six principles that allow you to do just that, starting today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, heart driven, awesome, inspiring women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of man you want without the need to do special strategies or manipulation or gimmicks or play games as a result of you stepping into the most amazing, most alive version of yourself. Today's topic is one that is close to my heart because a lot of women feel like in order to stand out in an ocean of women that you have to become thinner or younger or awesome at some specific skill or uh, and it's not true. <laughs> the reality is that if you really want to stand down in the eyes of quality men, there's a few principles you can follow that can allow you to do that. The first one is smiling. Okay, I know this one seems like the simplest, most idiotic thing I could say to you, but let me tell you something right now. Men are visual in nature. So the way you present yourself, and it's, if it's an honest smile, it comes from you connecting to gratitude, you connecting to the kind of life that you have, you connecting to your beauty, that smile will, no matter who's standing next to you, no matter how awesome the women around you might be, a genuine, generous, and I do mean generous smile, can absolutely rise you to the top of anyone in the room and create an instant, a moment with a guy that can help him focus on you and be interested in getting to connect with you. Number two is body appreciation. What do I mean by that? I mean that you know your body and you appreciate your body. I would even take it to the next step and say, love your body. I know that if you live in this society, uh, whether you're a woman or a man, and more often women than guys, you have some insecurities regarding how awesome you are, how beautiful you are, mostly because you've been shown images from the moment you were born to now of an idea of beauty that's only one definition of beauty, but it in no way encompasses the reality of beauty around you. So if you've subscribed to that version of beauty, you might look at yourself and say, well, I'm not that, therefore I'm not beautiful. Well, you might be 100 times more beautiful than that. It's just like that's just one version of it. So you loving your body, you appreciating your body means that when you enter a room, when you create an interaction with a guy, when you stand your ground in your sovereign awesomeness, you shine differently. And there's something that emanates from you there's a confidence that emanates from you and there's a sense of acceptance, not just for yourself, but for the other, that is so inviting and it's not very common. It's not very common because unfortunately, many human beings, men and women, don't love themselves that way. So when you connect with someone, I connect with a woman who feels that way about herself, that is so attractive and that is so out of the norm that starts, again, putting you up, rising you through the ranks and making you be more unique in that moment. Number three, clarity about yourself. What does this mean? This means that you've taken the time to know yourself, to understand the things that you love, to understand the things that you hate, to understand the things you're hungry for, the things that you find interesting, the things that you find make you feel alive, and the things that turn you off, the things that make you feel closed off, the things that make you feel unsafe. When you have clarity about yourself, when you have that understanding about what you are, then all of a sudden you're a unique human being that is not just one like everybody else. You have specific things about you that make you more unique. And step number four, which is right after step number three, we've got clarity about yourself, then courage in expressing that clarity. Because if you're an amazing human being who understands who you are, but you have no way of expressing it, stating it out in, in, into the world, then it's better than if you don't know who you are, but it's not as good as if you can express yourself. Because when you express yourself, that's where the rubber meets the road. That's where the awesomeness of you meets the world unequivocally and makes you stand out as someone who has likes, dislikes, passions, 
ex things that make you exciting, uh, things you're hungry for, that makes you more unique. That makes you, again, stand out, the theme of this video. Number four, five, uh, it's warm confidence. Why do I pre-frame confidence with warmth first? Well, because we've all seen both men and women who are confident, but there's a confidence where you can disconnect from the other. There's a confidence that steps into feeling more significant, feeling better than other human beings, feeling more like you're the, this isolated individual that has nothing to do with the rest. And as much as that might be attractive to some people, I can tell you that far, by far, quality men, men who know who they are, are going to be more attracted to somebody who's confident, yet warm. Confident, but open. Confident in the sense that you know how amazing you are. You don't have to shout it out. You don't have to tell anyone how awesome you are. You carry that intrinsic value in the way you stand, in the way you look into his eyes, in the way you walk, in the way you breathe. Warmth, confidence. Warmth in your heart and yet feeling like you can stand your ground and you know what you're about and you understand who you are. That's something very attractive that, again, makes you stand out from the rest. Right, the sixth <laughs> uh, point here is a redefinition, redefinition of who this is for. Yeah, the video that I putting out there right now is how you can stand out uh, to quality men. The reality is all these things that I'm sharing with you right now are going to make you stand out more in your own life, are going to make you stand out more into your own eyes, are going to make you feel more happy with who you are. And if you really look at this and you say, well, I'm not doing it to stand out for men, I'm doing it to stand out more for myself. And it just so happens that when I stand out more for myself, when I step into these things and my life becomes better, my life becomes more exciting, I also become more attractive to men. Well, it's a two-in-one, right? <laughs> you kill two birds with one stone in an amazing way. So understand that you're doing this for you. You're not doing this for him. You're doing it for yourself. And when you do it for you, and when you step into it this way, you will create this magnetism that puts you, uh, uh, make you stand out from the rest. Now, the, the seventh point, it's a bonus point for you. For those of you who watch till the end of the video, I'm going to give you a seventh one. And the seventh one is understand that you want to stand out, not necessarily from, in, in, the, to, in, in the eyes of, uh, of, of all men, in the eyes of the right guy. So there are going to be lots of guys when you step into this that will not want you. There's going to be lots of guys who say, well, what I'm looking for right now is somebody who's size zero awesome for them. Or I'm looking right now for someone who is who wants to have sex early and often uh, without even knowing me. Well, that's cool for them. So you don't want to stand out in the eyes of mankind. You want to stand out in the eyes of yourself and a worthy, intelligent, passionate, respectful man who can go the distance with you. So forget about, it's not a like competition. It's not an Instagram contest. It's about you and the right match, seeing each other connecting with each other, and creating something sustainable and passionate. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful, my dear. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm like a few days away from reaching 100,000 subscriber mark, so be part of this movement. I'm creating content that can allow you to step into a better life. Uh, if you take action on it, not just if you listen to it, but if you take action on it. And the third thing, and the most important of all, is if this resonates with you and you feel like you want to take this to the next level, there's a couple things you can do. Number one would be on the first line of the description of this video, there's going to be a link that allows you to sign up to a free masterclass that I've created for you that can share with you even more principles that can allow you to create the relationship you want with more confidence, more feminine energy, and less BS. <laughs> Num uh, if you say, well, you know what, I've been watching your videos for a while. I understand this is awesome. And I've stepped into some of these changes and I know the power of this, but I want more. I need hand-holding. I need uh, the guidance that someone can bring to me. Uh, and I also want this to be customized for me, not just for women in general, my situation specific. Well, there's another link on the description of this video where you can apply to connect with me to figure out if we can be a fit to work together. Fill out an application. I'll read all of them personally. If I feel I can help you, my assistants will reach out to you and uh, we'll set up a time to talk. And if we hit it off and we're fit to do the work, we can do it. And if not, then you can continue on with your life. At least you allowed yourself to go for one more opportunity. Thank you so much for connecting with me, allowing me into your heart, into your home. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.